Good afternoon, everyone. I hope everyone is doing well and looking after each other. Um, today, I'm doing a little tutorial on how to uh, join a chicken. Um, this is one that I've had in my freezer and I've defrosted it for 24 hours um, in the bottom of the fridge, all wrapped up, and so I need to use it. So I'm just going to show you one method of deep um, jointing it so that we get all the different parts of the chicken. It's a much cheaper way of obviously buying it rather than just buying two, say, chicken breasts or the thighs or the uh, the drumsticks. So this is a, a way of showing you how to do it. But first of all, let's have a look at the anatomy of said bird. So chicken obviously has wings and these are the wings. Okay, so you can see that when the chicken was going around, it was running around like that, which means, if I try and hold up right, that these parts here, this being the, like the leg, and this is the thigh, all right, works a lot. And as it works a lot, it has uh, it tends to be a little bit tougher, and we call that, and this comes out as dark meat, all right? So this is great for like stews and casseroles and barbecues and things like that. Whereas the breast, which is here, okay, doesn't work so hard, and therefore that's generally a whiter meat that we've got. So, first of all, all right, do a little bit of exercise, it needs a little bit of a workout. So just, just give it a little tease, just to get the wings, go, uh, the wings going. It makes it a lot easier to cut. Now, if we have a look on the underside, just about here and here, there's two lumps of meat. Now they're actually called the oysters, or some people used to call them chef's privilege because they're always the bit that never got used and the chefs used to eat them after they've cut them. So our aim is to cut all the way around there to include that in what we're going to do. And the first thing we're going to do is take off the whole leg, okay? So obviously I've washed my hands, I've got a very sharp knife. If you hold up the bird itself, you will see that there's almost like a natural line appears and that's the line I'm going to follow just like I've explained with vegetables and things generally if you actually look at the product that you're cutting it will tell you where to cut now I'm just going to stop here just so you can see so I've cut round this part and it's important to note you can just see a bone there that you don't actually cut through any bones at all Okay, so you won't be cutting through any physical bone if you do it properly. And there we have it. So, there is the thigh and the drumstick. I'm going to repeat that on the other side. Again, drumstick and the thigh. And now, I'm left with just the wings. So here, again, I'm going to give them a little bit of an exercise. And again, if I pull that back so you can see, there is the line around there that I want to go. So these are going to be my, uh, my chicken wings. You can just move the knife round Look at what you're doing. Again, absolutely no need to cut through any bone. So now I've got the whole wing. I'm now going to repeat that on the other side. There we are. And there's the other wing. So what I want to do now is I want the actual the chicken breast itself. Now different ways of cutting this depending on I say what you're using it for. You can just take the whole carcass off, cut straight across, and you'd be left with some uh, on-the-bone chicken. I personally prefer that. But I'm just going to show you how to get the breast off. So you start with, just stretch the skin. Okay, and then you can see that I've got my line there. That's where the, like, the backbone is. Just here, that's, that's the, uh, the wishbone. Okay, so what I'm going to do, you start off with, with the knife, insert it, 
and draw it slowly along the bone. And if I open it up here, hopefully you can see, I'm right against the bone here. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to turn it around this way, is I'm going to get my knife and carefully just slide the knife down in nice even strokes through the chicken till I get to the wishbone at the end. Hopefully you can see that. And then just draw the knife down against the bone and turn it over. And there I have my chicken breast. Okay, so there's my chicken breast. Now, if I turn it over, I just want to show you something supermarkets do, a bit naughty. You might have seen some of them, they sell like chicken goujons and stuff. Well, if we have a look inside this fillet, if I was just to peel this layer off in here and just take my knife, cut down, I end up with a mini chicken fillet. And they, when they process these, they take these and they and they sell these as a separate thing, and they're a lot more expensive than buying like the whole carcass. So you can end up with some mini chicken fillets. Great if you're going to make a chicken Kiev as well. So that is one massive chicken breast. So I'll just do the same on the other side. Now, if your hands become a bit slimy and sticky, just give them a rinse and then continue. Very important that you've got a firm grip on the knife at all times. And then we have the second chicken breast, no bones. So I've got my portioned up chicken that I've just done, but I can still break it down a little bit further. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Thigh, drumstick. This we currently call a leg. So I want to cut it in half basically. And again, if I look, I can see a line where I need to cut. Again, I won't be cutting through any bone. I can pretty much just pop it. So hold it into a V, take your knife, move that out of the way, take the knife and just cut straight through. Now I have a chicken thigh. Now there's a lot of excess skin on this. So what I'm gonna do is just trim that up. That's one side, just so it looks a bit neater and get rid of uh, any excess fat that is actually on, on the uh, chicken itself. So there I have a nice neat chicken thigh with the bone in. Chicken drumstick itself, again, some loose skin at the end. So again, take your sharp knife, stretch the skin down, and just trim it up. Now, I don't know about you, but I love chicken wings, okay? Now, obviously, this is quite a mammoth one, all right? And this is the wing tip. Now, this is the only bit we don't really eat in this country very much, and this is the only time I probably might need to chop through a bit of bone. So I'm just gonna get my knife and just cut through like that, discard that bit. And again, like the chicken thigh and the leg, I've got a joint. Now, I could have jumbo wings and leave them like that, or I could break them down further by cutting again through that line. And that's what I'm gonna do on this one. And when you've cut them up, you end up with two chicken wings. There are lots of different recipes you can use up different parts of the chicken. So have a look out for the latest videos and hopefully you'll find something suitable that you can cook and try at home.